Here's an update of the news on Fort Myers Beach, and I'm very sad to report that there was a dead manatee that washed ashore at the Outrigger Beach Resort here on Fort Myers Beach. It was towards the south end of the island, and uh, so it's right in this area here where the Outrigger is. And there's a uh, article on Wink News, and we'll play the video here. Morgan, thank you. An unexpected find on Fort Myers Beach. A dead manatee washes up ashore. It's very sad. It's, this, is, this was the most beautiful place. Now, the question many are asking tonight is our water quality crisis to blame for its death? Wing News reporter Chris Grisby is live on Fort Myers Beach. And, Chris, what are people saying about this discovery? John Carlos, people we've been speaking to say they're sad about that manatee dying along our shores here near their Outfitters Resort. This year alone, more than 550 manatees have died along our coast, surpassing last year's total at just under 540. Week News was here earlier today when FWC officials put a tarp over the dead manatee carcass on Fort Myers Beach. Red tide levels are at medium levels, according to the latest red tide report. Now, officials will be working to determine how this Manatee died. It's still unclear yet if red tide played a role. People visiting the beach say sites like this are leaving a sour taste in their mouth. But I just feel sad that this is here. If I was vacationing, no. If I was to pick a vacation spot, I wouldn't come back. And scientists say the reason we're not seeing as many dead fish wash up ashore and miss this red tide out here is because there's a dead zone, they say. That means when no fish are in the water, no fish are going to wash up on shore. Reporting live on Fort Myers Beach, Chris Grisby, Wink News Now. To stay updated on Fort Myers Beach news, please subscribe and head on over to our blog at fortmyersbeachlife.com. Thank you.